Uh, hi guys, in this video we are going to see how the free wheeling diodes in a power electronic circuits, in electronic circuits, okay, how it works, how, uh, when it activates, okay. Uh, if you like this video, uh, click the like button and uh, please subscribe to get to know about the new uh, videos, guys. Thanks. Uh, let's go into the topic. Yeah. <coughs> see, this is a part of the circuit, okay. This is a part of the power electronic circuit. You are seeing on uh, resistor and index on RL load in series with one switch, power electronic switch. Okay, uh, that switch is a, is a MOSFET. So the diode is connected across the load. Okay, this diode is called a free wheeling diode. Uh, okay, why it's called free wheeling diode, we will see later. So, uh, how it works, uh, that's what we are mainly going to see here, right? So, before that, I will just refresh about the how the inductor works how uh, the magnetic field will uh, get induced in surrounding the uh, inductor and what will happen when you are suddenly decreasing the current or increasing the current in the uh, inductor. Then only we can understand uh, not only the free wheeling diode concept in all other the in RL nature load that is inductive nature load in the electronic circuits. Okay. Uh, yeah. See this one inductor is that. Okay. On inductor, when the current passing through the inductor, a magnetic field will be produced uh, surrounding the uh, coil. That we know that, right? So, when the constant current is flowing, when the steady DC current is flowing, the field will be constant surrounding the inductor. That's what the f very first figure I am saying, right? This one. So, when the constant current is flowing to the uh, coil, uh, yes, uh, steady magnetic field will be the constant field will be there surrounded the inductor and the, there is no induced voltage around the uh, coil okay so and before going to the how when you will happen the increase in the current degree let's see the lens law the lens law states that polarity of the induced voltage is to oppose the cost producing it okay you remember that the polarity the plus and negative will be of the induced voltage is uh, in such a way that uh, it will oppose the cost producing which will cause uh, produce the induced voltage it tries to oppose that one. Okay. okay now come to the sec mm. second figure so here if you are increasing the current il into suddenly increase to some high value okay what will happen there uh, increasing current that makes the causes the expanding the magnetic field it increase expanding the magnetic field surrounding uh, more area okay? okay it goes beyond this area so this expanding field induces the voltage uh, it will induce the voltage that will oppose the current uh, that's IL the current build up actually increasing the IL okay so here uh, the magnetic will keep on expanding okay so uh, induced voltage will uh, appear to suppress to reduce the uh, expanding the magnetic field which will cause for the expanding magnetic field is increasing the current right so it increasing the it will try to oppose the increase in current so the positive polarity will be plus here and negative because the current flowing from top to down right so positive will be here and down now third figure we will see uh, what will happen if you suddenly uh, decrease in the current? That means you are collapsing the magnetic field. You are sending the current and suddenly you are going to stop it. What will happen? The magnetic field suddenly collapsing, right? Some uh, from high uh, surrounding that field uh, maximum value to suddenly going to be zero. So the same lens law you apply it. It will, uh, the induced voltage, what will mean? It will try to oppose the cost producing it. Here the cost is in third figure. What's the cost is? It will uh, reduce in the current. That means reducing the uh, magnetic field. The magnetic field will produce the induced voltage, right? That's what the reducing the magnetic field is the cost. Magnetic field is not the cost. Reducing the magnetic field, which is which will occur by that reducing the current. So the cost is reducing the current. Okay. So this magnetic uh, this uh, induced voltage will try to oppose that one. So the polar positive will be here and negative will be here. This you have to understand very clearly, guys. Okay. Uh, so in a crisp, I will repeat once again. Decreasing the current, the IL, okay, will makes the collapsing the magnetic field. So this collapsing field in induces the voltage. 
that will oppose the current decrease. You got it right? Yeah. With this knowledge, we will go back into uh, part of the power electronic circuit, how the uh, freedom diode works. So here, a yeah, voltage will appear from uh, supply Vs, source voltage is appearing here and it is appearing across the load. Okay. The RL is the load and uh, when the switch is closed, that means the entire voltage will appear across the uh, RL load, that means load voltage, Vs is the load voltage. So current flows from top to bottom, right? Uh, resistor, indec uh, resistor inductor and the switch it will go. So during that period, you how the plus and minus comes? That is what in your, in your previous slide we had seen, right? So, here the induced voltage. This induced voltage is also known as a counter uh, voltage or a counter EMF or back EMF because it tries to counter the changes in current. That is why it is called a counter EMF or back EMF. This term you remember, yes. What is mean by counter EMF or back EMF? Why it is called means this, e this voltage or this uh, EMF it tries to counter the changes in current. Uh, it, it, it tries to oppose the decrease in current or increase in current. That's why it's called the counter voltage, counter EMF, back EMF, back voltage. Okay. okay this figure you got it right. The plus sign will be here and minus sign will be down. Okay. Now, when the switch is connecting, when the PDM will stop, suddenly when the switch is turned off, the uh, thyristor or MOSFET, when it suddenly opens. Now, at that moment, what will happen? There is no closed path here, right? So, the current flow will be abruptly stopping. From IL2, it is going to be uh, zero. Okay, that voltage will be suddenly, it is going to be certain changes is happening. So, the uh, here it minus will come, here plus is there. So, you got, you recall the previous slide what I had explained soon, right? So, this instant, the um, plus will be here and minus will be here, right? So, it means here, the it will the entire voltage the will appear across the switch that will be dangerous right so to avoid this one here that moment diode will be the positive the anode is the positive so it starts to conduct during this period the stored energy in the inductor will be bypassed to the diode and it will flow through the uh, uh, this closed loop will happen this uh, inductor, diode and resistance, it will pass. By this way, the stored energy is going to be, once again, continuity of the load will happen. With this knowledge, you can uh, uh, refresh about the how the buck converter works or uh, uh, what you can say, um, how the free fly back diode or chopper circuits are working. With this uh, understanding, if you see the choppers and other things, it will be very much useful, guys. Based on the chopper, uh, some comments, I am uh, doing this video. Yeah, thanks for uh, watching this video, guys. Uh, if you really got some idea from this video, please click the subscribe button. It means uh, you appreciated my efforts. Uh, take care, guys. Yeah, bye.